So I've been playing a ton of Baldur's Gate 3, like many people are at the minute, because it just came out and it's pretty great. Is it the game of the year? Who knows? But I'm having a blast playing some D&D on my computer. But due to that, I really have not been making any attempts to make videos. But I want to combine the most controversial part of Baldur's Gate 3 with my love for Orc Knights and ask the very simple question are Orc Knight fans beating the furry allegations? And if you don't realize why I would make a reference to Baldur's Gate 3, you need to be on the internet more often because you have not heard all the tea about Baldur's Gate 3 and the furry allegations. But bears aside, we'll get back to them later, I'm sure. Are Orc Knights fans beating furry allegations? And the answer is kind of. If your waifu is the doctor or the priestess, you my friend are beating the furry allegations. If not, you're on thin ice. As we know, most Orc Knights characters have some animal traits, in varying degrees. Typically, they will have animal ears and a tail. And if you are a fan of one of these characters, you are on thin ice when it comes to the furry allegations. Anime fans have always argued over whether these animal traded characters are furry or not. And in my opinion, they really aren't. It's very much just some flavoring and it really isn't taking that much of a drastic step away from being purely human. Especially in Orc Knights, where everyone, regardless of whether they have animal ears or not, has human ears. Which is a bit uncanny valley when you see people with four ears, but it is what it is. And I have good news for you Gavriel fans and you Chen fans, because if you are a fan of the likes of, again, Gaviel and Chen, you are beating the furry allegations, because they are not furries, they are dragons and crocodiles. Unfortunately, you then fall into the scaly category, and it pretty much brings you back to the exact same spot that the standard Orc Knights fan is. However, there is an exception where you are 100% absolutely guaranteed to be a furry. If your waifu, or more likely your husbando, falls into the anthropomorphic animal Orc Knights character subsection, I'm afraid you are a furry. I would like to come to your defense as a fellow Orc Knights enjoyer, but just look at them. People like Mountain, Lee, Waifu, Hong. We ain't beaten the furry allegations for you, but that's okay because I am sure you are more than happy with what you have. However, I will defend you from the furry allegations if you are a fan of this character. Emperor. Obviously, Emperor is my man. He is a Giga Chad. He is the best character in all Knights. 100% not biased opinion. Just because he has one of the best CGs in the game. My goodness. It's glorious. Did I introduce Emperor in this video just to show the CG again? Yes. And there are a few more specific cases that I want to address to round out the video. That being the Ijo, the Sokaz, and the Sancta. In the Ijo's case, I am sorry, but you are fish people, and therefore you are borderline. And in the Sancta and Sokaz case, it does vary, I suppose being charitable, Sancta do beat the furry allegations. However, I would say the Sorkas are not beating the monster fucker allegations, pretty much because the Sorkas are all different variations of monster. Of course, that ain't gonna stop me from going after Mudrock, but you understand. I can't just give him a clean pass. So. Pretty much just the Doctor and the Priestess and the Sancta are fully clearing the allegations. The really isn't a good position to be in to beat the furry allegations if you're an Orc Knights fan. But hey, at least you're not a Blue Orc Eye fan. Unless you like Asuna, uh, we, we won't judge you for that. The bunny girl is cute. If you've managed to make it to the end, I wouldn't take this video too seriously. I'm just having a little bit of fun at the expense of Orc Knights. And at the end of the day, you really shouldn't take this shit all that seriously. Orc Knights is fun, 
and it's funny to poke fun at some of the more out there aspects. More serious topic to videos to come soon. I have a few ideas and one of them does involve a certain dragon girl whose event ended recently. But that's all for the future. You be good people and I'll see you later.